I rarely do feature contracts on this channel. I mean, if anything, I'd steered them a bit for Hitman 2016, but that was just because I'd run out of content to do. So when I do them, I think it's because I think, oh, all right, this is quite interesting. And yeah, this one caught me attention. I thought it's good targets, good kill conditions, but I haven't seen a lot of people do it. So maybe it's just me who found it interesting, but oh yeah. So I've picked up a screwdriver straight away and um, that's for, I believe, the Sheik. So the idea is you have to kill the Sheik first, then you have to kill Kurt, then you have to kill Haley. So it was quite an interesting way idea that you have to get a certain kill order. Um, I've seen one where Haley was first, then it was a Sheik, then Kurt. So, you know, it's I found it to be a specific kill order, but obviously other people didn't. So I'm curious how other people have done this besides what I've seen. So, uh, yeah. So as you can see, we're climbing up to the top floor. This is purely because I don't want to have to go through frisk points. Um, the reason being we're going to the top floor, but we're going to go down a floor so we can get the auction staff disguise. That's what we need to take the Sheik out with. So we're going to go through these doors, down the stairs, and we're going to go through the big double doors to the big room where there's just one auction staff member on his own. Once we're there, we're going to just knock him out, take the disguise, and we're going to head towards the Sheik. So we're also going to bring the lockpick with us for this. The idea being that's just the easiest way to get in the room. And I did bring, I think I've actually bought the electrocution phone, but I might have bought something else. I will have to check the conditions. Uh, well, check my loadout. Anyway, here we go. Auction staff member, knock him out, drag him to the closet. If you're lucky like me, you'll get a little glitch like that. <laughs> and then just uh, put him in the closet to take the disguise. Also, there is a condition, I believe, in this featured contract where you aren't allowed to get spotted by cameras, otherwise you have to delete them. You would do that anyway, but just be mindful of that, otherwise you're going to have to go and delete the surveillance. So, go through the doors here. We're going to just go down a floor because we want to get Kurt into the bathroom, so we're going to use a metal poison for that purpose. So, through the through, into the kitchen. There's some metal poison over here. And we're going to poison the food that Kurt will eat. So once he eats that, he'll go throw up in the bathroom, that gives us plenty of time to get back to him to use the fibre wire. So upstairs we go again, and this time we're going to take out the Sheik. Now, I'm sure there are easier ways to take out the Sheik, but the one the one method I tried to use was um, essentially just luring him into the bathroom. I'm sure you could have used a Karma or some other method like that, but I thought, nah, this is a reliable method, we've used it before in the old game, so why mix things up? So yeah, use the lockpick on this door. I'll be honest, it'd be better if they had created a harder condition in this room, but hey-ho. So, overflow the sink. I think there's a clock radio in there as well, at least there used to be, so you could use that if you wanted. The idea is keep opening the door, eventually you'll hear the water overflowing and he'll go and check it out. I think what happens is, he's, the AI is program to focus on the phone call and it's only when he sort of hears it that he can put the phone down it's like he has to start the call before he can end it so just let him do what he has to do got the screwdriver in hand so as soon as he's through the door just use that on him and hide him in the closet the amusing thing is the routes i've seen have actually done this much faster i'm sure at this point people have already completed it so um yeah, this is a fairly slow one, I will admit, but I'm still happy with the route. I don't do feature contracts, like I say, so this was something that was just really to tick off the box. So yeah, we're through it. Let's go and get Kurt. He should be throwing up about now. Haley's the easy one. All you got to do is knock out, knock out the bodyguard with her. I use the karma on him and then just basically lure her to the balcony. So nothing too complicated there. I even bought the measuring tape with me just as a little gimmicky fibre wire, so nothing complicated there. Just wait for the cameras to move and we're clear. Down the stairs. And like I say, Kurt's throwing up, nothing surprising about that. I'm actually a bit surprised he gets there that fast. I'd have thought he would have got there later, but yeah, I was surprised when I realised this. So yeah, measuring tape. Hide him in the closet. And now we've got to go and get Haley. Plus we've got the disguise we need. I also believe that, I mean, I think I've actually spoke to the person, or not spoke, but I've written a comment to him on YouTube. Um, I think he did, I'm wondering if he actually designed it where he did it in the order I did it, but someone else has actually come up with a quicker route for it. 
because I didn't think to start as a tech crew guy, that would have been the much faster way of doing all this, but like I say, it just didn't come to mind to do it that way, so yeah, I am curious what other people have done on this. So I get upstairs by just basically getting rid of this guard here because he's a bit of a pain. So I don't need the screwdriver now, I can throw that. He goes to investigate the screwdriver, I can walk upstairs. At this point I'm going to go outside, I'm going to shoot the guard who is sort of sitting with, or sitting on Haley, if you like, She's, he's outside uh, watching her. So out we go, use shoulder to, the shoulder button to get an easier shot at him, take a shot, then all you got to do is go inside and knock her out. I wouldn't wait for her to... Well, uh, to be honest, I used the car mode, but I really didn't need to do that. You could have just gone in behind her, used the, uh, just done a normal subdue, and dragged her outside. So, this was all a bit of a waste, really. I could have got the chic a little bit faster, but, again, this is just a fun little playthrough. Nothing too serious about it. In fact, it's a very easy feature contract. I just like the targets they picked. It reminded me a bit of the Cotty Paradigm from Hitman 2016, the escalation. So, kudos to the guy who did it, and we'll try and remember your name. But yeah, that's about it. I think I exit via the alley pad, so what I do is I just go through Dahlia's room here and go out onto the balcony and slide down the pipe. Oh no, go out onto the outside balcony. Yeah, it's a couple of days since I did this, so no big surprises there. But yeah, other than that, thank you very much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more Hitman 2 videos, and I'll be back with another featured contract probably tomorrow at this date, at uh, this time regarding release dates. But uh, if not, just have a look on the channel, it might already be out by the time you've seen this. So, thank you very much. See you in the next one. Bye for now, everyone.